Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. You might have seen this application before. This is Superlist. It is from the same people that created the application Wonderlist, which is now Microsoft to do. And in today's video, we are going to test it out as more of a project management or note taking application. And uh, at the end of the video, I will give you my thoughts on it so let's jump right into the application so the first thing here is that we have an inbox feature and i do love an inbox feature but we also have um some ways of organizing which is important if you're actually going to try this out as a note-taking uh, application or a project management application so let's just add a new section. Uh, so let's say I wanted to do para inside of this. So let's do resources just as an example and let's do projects as well. So we have a couple uh, and I have a couple of areas here already uh, and let's add archive as well. So now we have all of the things we need. So let's say I wanted to actually add um, add some notes to my resources board I could actually create a new list here and we could call this uh, book notes notes from the creative act uh, or we could just call this book notes so um, just to show you what I mean here I can actually start uh, typing things uh, right here and I can open this up in the sidebar to actually write more. Uh, so that is actually something you can do inside of this application. You can open up these uh, these uh, boxes or uh, check boxes and you can write inside of them. But you can also actually just turn this into a paragraph and just start writing. So that is why I am uh, thinking of this not just as a note taking application, but all not just as a to do list application, sorry, but also as a note taking application, at least for lightweight note taking. So I could do uh, book notes from the creative act here but if you want even more structure you could actually do book notes or you could actually do to read like this and let's say i wanted to read the creative act uh, we first have to turn this into task again and let's just do the creative act like this and once i am actually finished with this i can click uh this right here uh, and it gives me a little audio uh, when I click it uh, and I can also open the task details after I'm finished reading it and I could actually just go ahead and I could write my notes in here as I go you also have the ability to tag things so let's just do test for a book note like this and I could go ahead and I could continue writing things. And as you can see, it works with Markdown as well. Uh, so you can format these things as Markdown. So it feels uh, not just like a to-do list application. I'm sure that it will do an amazing job as a to-do list application, but it can actually work as a lightweight note-taking application as well. Um, so now we have tested it uh, for, uh, book notes let's say i wanted to do my social media inside of here as well uh, i would probably have social media ideas like this and i would do one for youtube video ideas uh, and i could go ahead and i could do the same thing here so let's say i wanted to create super list uh, video and i could open this up and i could actually write my whole script inside of here uh, and this will get the youtube tag i could assign it to myself and add a due date to it as well um, and i could just go ahead and i could start writing my whole script inside of here so the, there are a few possibilities with this um, it isn't perfect uh, but uh, it can actually work as a uh, lightweight note taker or a project management application you can go ahead and you can uh, add and remove things from favorites to have them pinned to your sidebar here you can see all of your lists and you can see all of your tasks but as you can see 
um, finished tasks does not show up. And if I turn this into a paragraph instead, it won't show up here either. Uh, so this uh, only shows you your tasks and you could choose to just see the upcoming, see done or see others. That is up to you. So you could have your task management here and have your note taking here as well. You get updates when tasks are assigned to you. This is more for like using the application with a team. And you can also see uh, what you have to do today. Um, the way the organization works is that you have different lists which you can put underneath uh, these, uh, it's called sections, I think, yeah, new sections. So you can put them uh, underneath sections. And you can actually have a few uh, sections and also a few lists. And I can actually drag and drop these. One thing I wanted to test out is actually, uh, because this application, as you can see, is block-based, I can drag blocks. Uh, one thing I wanted to see if worked is that uh, to drag something from uh, one list to another, and that actually works quite well. So let's say I had finished this. I could actually drag this into my archive, but first I need an archived list. So let's create that archived and I can actually drag this into my archived list and it will appear here instead. Uh, so you have the ability to do a para inside of here and you have the ability to use this as a note taking application. Uh, one thing to keep in mind uh, is that the search inside of this might not be as good as in many other note-taking apps. That is the main issue I have with using um, to-do list application uh, applications with to-do list applications with uh, note-taking or for note-taking. Uh, is that the search might not always be as good as in a pure note-taking app. Uh, and it probably isn't, but the search is quite good in here, uh, even though it is not uh, perfect or not to the level of, uh, of many other note-taking applications. Uh, it actually isn't too bad. Uh, so this uh, test right here, if you, see this does not show up but it is nested uh, like underneath uh, two layers but uh, let's uh, do test here as well to see if the problem with the search is that it only searches tasks so it only searches tasks and list titles as i said the search isn't as good uh, uh, compared to a lot of other applications uh, on the market that are pure note-taking applications. But it is a really beautiful application and it works well for like lightweight note-taking. I probably would not do my all of my note-taking inside of here. I would do things like grocery lists or even some notes for a YouTube video I probably could get away with. I feel like this uh, is more uh, tailored towards those who need a lightweight project management application and not necessarily um, note-taking application. Uh, it is more a project management application than it is a note-taking application, but at its core, it is actually just a simple, uh, a simple to-do list application that has a lot of uh, a lot of options for like basic note taking and project management. When it comes to the pricing of this, we have a free plan, which is quite good. You get five shared lists and five collaborators per list, 500 megabytes of storage, but you can actually uh, pay for the monthly plan, which feels a little too much for, uh, for a to-do list application. But if you were to use this as a lightweight note taker, or a project management application, which is what I feel like this is good at. Um, it is probably worth it. It also comes with AI and also uh, a few integrations as well. That's the monthly, yearly is probably eight uh, and it is $8 each month on the yearly plan. 
As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.